Hey everybody, welcome back to Art a la Carte. And today I'm going to be doing a request that I received on how to draw different types of horse breed colorings. So I've already pre-drawn up these three different horses and inked them in, so now all we have to do is add some coloring. Now the type of color uh, pencils that I use are uh, Prismacolor color pencils. If you don't have uh, Prismacolor color pencils, you can use just whatever kind of color pencils, crayons, paints, um, whatever you want to try to color your picture with. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with this horse down here first, and I'm going to do a Palomino for this one. So the color choices I'm going to use for this picture are going to be an array of different kinds of yellows, working into tans. And, um, you can just color your Palomino um, yellow for the body and keep the mane and tail white. But um, just for a little extra detail, I'm going to mix and add some shadowing into this picture as well. So when coloring, you want to start with your lightest colors first. So I start first by blocking in with my lightest shade. I'm gonna find the places that I wanna keep white. Obviously the mane, the forelock, and the tail are gonna remain white, but also some shines and highlights. Now here's a trick with shading and shadowing. If you want something to look um, pushed back, um, you're gonna make it darker. And to bring something forward, you're gonna make it lighter. And so you're gonna see that that I'm going to start doing that even with this shade here, even though it's my lightest shade, I'm going to begin putting in some color in here. And I'm going to start with my furthest, um, I'm going to start with the parts of the horse that I want pushed back the farthest. So you can see I've just added some color here. This will get darker, but I'm going to apply this in. Now the harder I push on my pencil, the darker the color is going to be. So now that I'm going kind of just over the whole horse, I'm going to go a little bit lighter. So you can see here I pushed darker, so it's a little, or pushed harder. Now because I want to give this horse a blaze, which is a white strip down the front of the face, I'm going to leave that uncolored. So there's my first coloring in. So I'm going to use this color here, which is a yellow ochre prisma color, and I'm going to begin to blend then with a little bit more color in there. Just darken that in. Kind of warms this color up a bit. Now some Palominos will be just a brilliant golden color. Um, some will be um, almost white. So looking at reference photos can really help you to determine um, what color you want your horse to be. And knowing where to put these muscles comes from just looking at photos of horses, looking at muscle structure in the horse. Um, it's just something that takes a little studying to do. So when you're adding shading and shadowing, you want to know where your light source is coming from um, so that you're not putting a shadow on this side and then I put a shadow on this side of the leg so there's two different light sources. I want to make sure that my light source is coming from the same direction. Why I shaded here is because the mane is kind of casting a little bit of a shadow, but I'm going to blend that out so it's not so harsh. So just lightly, I'm going to go over top of that and just push some color in. Then I'm going to move to my darkest color here, and this is a light umber. And this is going to be kind of my shadow color, so this I'm going to apply just very carefully in only the places I want a good shadow. So the underside of the horse is going to get the shadow. that pushes that down in there and I don't shadow it straight across I keep it rounded so that you can tell that the horse itself isn't flat so by blending it up it's going to smooth that out so it's going to cause the viewer to see that it, this is gradually curving around and I'm going to put some good shadow behind this leg because I want this far leg to be pushed back it's going to bring this leg forward and push this leg back. Same thing with underneath this chest here. Now if I want to 
want to warm it up, I can use just this little bit of this Spanish orange just to kind of add a little bit of sunshine to the horse. I just want to golden it up just a little bit more than it is. But I really want to make sure I don't cover up my, sh my highlight points. Now for the tail, I'm going to take three different types of grays. And then with my darkest color, I'm just going to add just a few lines because, because again, the mane and tail are white and I don't want to cover it up with a lot of color. And there we go, a finished Palomino. As you can tell, coloring horses isn't just about picking one color and coloring your horse brown or yellow or black, but about choosing lots of different colors to create that. Even the chestnut that I colored, even though it's technically just one color, I used more colors on this than I did on any of the other horses combined to give it a richer and fuller looking um, texture. So try that out and I hope it works out for you. Uh, thanks so much for drawing with me, you guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.